Hello friends, welcome back to another USML tutorial session. Today I'm going to be talking about genetics and I'm going to be talking about the tumor suppressor genes. Now this, this aspect of USML is nothing but memory work. But sometimes uh, if there is a method of learning then it makes memory work a lot easier. Um, having said that, um, there is one more thing I would like to mention is that even though the concept of tumor suppressor genes and proto-oncogenes is not that hard. What is tumor suppressor genes? Tumor suppressor genes are genes which does not let the body have tumors. It's going to stop it. And proto-oncogenes are genes which is, which if it gains function, then it's going to cause cancer. So the concept is not as hard, is not hard at all. It's, it's very self-explanatory. But learning the little details here, memorizing them rock solid is very, very important to kind of differentiate and you're not going to get confused in the exam time which one is which. So let's talk about it. So the way I learned it is I actually take the smallest chromosome number and kind of move my way up towards a bigger chromosome number. Now, when we are talking about a chromosome, you're always going to uh, hear they talk about the short arm and the long arm. That is, if you look at a chromosome, there's a kink in the middle, and the, and the kink is not always pro it's proportional. There's a short end and a long end. And the short end is called P, and the long end is called Q. All right, so you can have two different tumor suppressor genes in exactly the same chromosome in exactly the same arm, but maybe different locus. Okay, all right, so let's get started. So the first one here is. 5q. Okay, you'll see most of them are q. There is only a couple that are p. So that's another way of remembering that, okay, there is not a lot that are p, so I can kind of remember it. So the first one is q, and um, it's 5q. So 5 is the first number with the chromosome. So what's the first letter in the alphabet? A. So 5Q has a tumor suppressor gene called APC. And what kind of disease does APC cause? FAP or familial adenomatous polyposis syndrome, which later causes cancer. So that's 5Q. That is followed by the next number we have on the list is 9P. 9P causes melanoma. Okay, 9P causes melanoma. Now, one thing we'd like to mention here is that the tumor suppressor gene for 9P is P16. Okay, so yes, it can be a little bit challenging to remembering the, remember this because the chromosome number is 9P, but the tumor suppressor gene also has a number on it. It's P16. All right, it's P16. Okay, so let's call it the weird one, you know, the one that has too much information going on. Okay, so after 9P, there is no other tumor suppressor gene on that one. That is followed by 11P. That's also a P one. Now, 11 also is also the, one of the first numbers. And think of young children because it's kind of primary. So it's going to have, the 11P is going to have the tumor suppressor gene for Wilms tumor, which if it gets knocked off, if both the locus gets knocked off, is going to have, we're going to have Wilms tumor. Okay, so that's 11P. So 5P is APC because it's the first number. 5Q, sorry, 5Q causing APC, uh, affecting APC uh, tumor suppressor gene causing FAP. 9P, 9P causes melanoma and it affects the tumor suppressor gene P16. 11P, the kind of 9 and 11, they both have P, is Wilms tumor cause, which suppresses the Wilms tumor gene. After 11 is 13, 13Q, now Q, 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 lots of Q now. It, it is uh, for the tumor suppressor gene BRCA2, which cause brain uh, sorry, not brain, breast cancer. Now, there is another one with 13Q. So whenever they say 13Q, always keep in mind that it's either BRCA2 or it can be retinal 
blastoma okay retinoblastoma they are both associated with 13q all right okay so let's continue the next one is after 13 it's 17 there is two 17q just like 13 there is two 17q and one is nf1 nf1 that's the one we all know that's the one that causes lots of uh, neural lots of uh, neural tumors um, uh, neurocutaneous tumors and the other 17q causes brca1 that's a breast and ovarian cancer so let's review from top until here 5q is apc which causes colon cancer after affecting fap 9p is melanoma which is affecting the tumor suppressor gene p16 11p is wolm's tumor uh, because it causes uh, it knocks off the two genes at the wolm's tumor tumor suppressor gene Okay, so after the first three, there is 13 and 17. Both have two associations. 13Q is BRCA2. Another 13Q is retinoblastoma. 17Q is NF1. And 17Q is BRCA1. All right? This is followed by another 17, which is 17P. And this is huge. This is the, this is the very important one. This is the one. This is the... This is the one that causes um, all kinds of cancer. Okay, it causes Lefrumini syndrome. It causes all kinds of cancer, but that one is 17P. All right. So we're kind of at the end here. We're nearing the end when we're talking about 18Q. 18Q. We are talking about DCC, which causes colon cancer, and DPC which causes pancreatic cancer. Okay, these are the tumor suppressor genes. And last but not the least is 22Q, which is causing NF2. All right, so let's go over the pair. So there is a pair of 13, there's a pair of 17, there is a pair of 18. And in the first pair of 13Q is BRCA2. Even though it's BRCA2, it's coming in the first one. And 13Q also has retinoblastoma. For 17Q, BRCA1 follows the 17Q, so the BRCA1 falls under the 17 group and NF1, and the 18 one, and I'm leaving the Lefromini, because 17P is P53 Lefromini syndrome, that is outside the 17Q1, and then again there is 18Q, which causes DCC, which uh, affects DCC, which causes colon cancer, so D, colon cancer, D, pancreatic cancer. Okay, so they are both with 18Q, and last but not the least is 22Q, which causes NF2. All right, so that's about it, and I will post these notes on my blog, so to, please do visit my blog if you want these notes. Until then, um, until my next video, um, um, bye for now. <laughs>